Hi everyone, my name is Kim and I'm currently taking part in a pronunciation contest which requires me to read out loud a short paragraph for you. So let's begin. Okay. In the United States and other countries, this old Scottish song, O Lang Syne, is played when the new year begins. The song is about remembering old friends. New Year's is a holiday for memories and for hopes. The past and the future come together at midnight. Not surprisingly, emotions are as much a part of a New Year's Eve as noisemakers and fireworks. After all, the traditional way to welcome the New Year is to kiss the person you love. O Lang Syne lends his name to the modern song about a man and a woman who once were lovers. One day, a week before New Year's, they meet again by chance. The singer is Dan Fogelberg, and the song is called "Same Old Lang Syne." On December sixteenth, two thousand seven, fans of Dan Fogelberg lost an old friend. The American singer and songwriter died of prostate cancer at the age of fifty-six. He was known for a kind of soft rock popular in the nineteen seventies and eighties. Same old Lang Syne was one of the hits from his 1981 album, *The Innocent Age*. From New Year's Day, we turn to a new day. It was the name of Celine Dion's music and dance show at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. It closed on December 15, 2007, after almost five years. It sold a reported 400 million dollars in tickets. The show's run ended two months before the start of the worldwide tour for a new album by the Canadian singer. The some fans came to the show again and again, so closing night was like an emotional goodbye to a no friend. We、we'll、leave you with Celine Dion and a song that some of you will probably sing along with, from a 1997 movie, Titanic. Here is "My Heart Will Go On." Okay, so that's the end of my performance. Thank you.